Welcome to The Hollywood Makers. Our guest today is Duan Peng. Duan is the Senior Vice President who leads global data in AI-based science and engineering in media. Her most recent projects included the launch of Max at Warner Media, but she has also worked as a senior data analytics leader in companies like Disney, Fox, NBC Universal, just to name a few. Duan received her PhD in economics from the University of Miami and is here today to help us unlock the power of data and AI. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Hollywood Makers. We are so honored and pleased to have with us today Duan Peng. She has been called Wonder Woman by Multi-Channel News, and she is the Senior Vice President that leads AI innovation and engineering and data analytics for many of the biggest media industry players. And today she's here to talk to us about how artificial intelligence is going to change the way the media works in all aspects. Duan, thank you so much for being with us. Welcome. Thank you, Claudia. And then uh, it's my big pleasure to be here with everyone today. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, really kind of want to probably have a quick introduction myself and talk a little bit about my uh, experience. Yes, yes. Um, so I, um, you know, I'm Duan Peng um, and my, uh, my journey basically has been through, you know, the whole data and AI and then leverage data and analytics to really help, you know, driving uh, you know, business decision making and operation efficiency across all the different industries and companies. Um, so uh, I started, you know, my career in the financial service industry and be working with major global banks, asset management firms, uh, really, you know, leverage, you know, data to help drive, you know, their marketing, their financial product development, um, their sales, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, operation, uh, you know, departments to, to, drive better, you know, uh, their ROI and efficiency. But then uh, my career moved, you know, um, end of 2016, you know, from uh, Wall Street to Hollywood. Um, so I started my journey, you know, really in the, the media entertainment world, uh, working through major media companies, uh, NBC Universal, uh, Fox, Disney, um, and most recently, you know, Warner Brothers Discovery. Um, my journey in the, the media technology space has been really has been an amazing journey during this whole massive transformation, um, you know, in the media industry, uh, being through, you know, major changes to embrace more new technology, digital transformation, direct to consumer, streaming products, launch and growth. And in my last few years, I've been focusing on, you know, launch and growth of um, new streaming products and service, HBO Max, uh, if, you know, a lot of you have used. Um, and most recently, you know, launch Max um, as a new streaming product service. Um, my team has been, you know, a really global centralized AI data AI team that we have been working with uh, our product marketing, content, operation, finance, uh, business leaders across all the global regions, um, leverage the data to really help, you know, drive this whole called, you know, direct to consumer uh, transformation and then the business growth. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So tell me, Dawn, how do you think artificial intelligence has been used in the media and the entertainment industry during your career? So the the AI, you know, everybody's talking about AI right now, but AI <laughs> actually has been there for over the last probably 10 years. Um, when I first, you know, joined media and, and the entertainment industry, I think obviously uh, was still early stage, you know, when uh, companies start using machine learning and AI to really, you know, drive their uh, decision making, to drive, you know, their new product development. Uh, but over the last few years, um, there's a tremendous, you know, growth um, and interest and investment in the AI space. Um, so I would say, especially, you know, my uh, most recent experience, you know, while leading the global data and AI team, that we have been heavily investing, you know, the AI machine learning applications uh, in many different ways, you know, like including uh, personalization, right? So we really use, you know, machine learning algorithm and AI to drive more personalized customer experience, whether through our, you know, uh, products uh, or through our marketing offers and messaging. 
Um, we also use AI to drive, you know, better content creation and content distribution initiatives. And obviously, we also use AI to drive, you know, our ad sales, you know,、uh, like targeting, personalization, monetization.、Mm -hmm. uh, use AI to drive marketing operations、uh, throughout, you know, the consumer journey, right? Their lifecycle journey. So there are many applications, use cases. We now deploy AI to really help the business, right, to get into the new、uh, innovation chapter and then drive, you know, continuous growth. There's a question that many people ask: Should we be afraid of AI? So nowadays, you know, I went to many conferences.、Um, you know, I was talking about AI. I sense the the I caught you know some fear about you know this rapid growth of AI, because you know like as I mentioned, right? You know, also AI has been there for a long time, but with、uh, particular you know the. The most recent ChatGPT, right? You know this,、uh, the usage, you know, across all those, you know, industries, and now, you know, suddenly, you know, AI become、uh, this like center of the things. Like, oh, now, you know, AI can do what human being can do. You know, what's going to be the future for you know our society?、Um, so I, I, you know, I sense there's a lot of you know,、uh, I call it, you know, concerns and fear、mm -hmm. about AI. But in general, you know, we are also very excited about this new chapter of technology revolution. AI is here. AI is with us, right? So,、uh, with this new technology, now we can significantly improve our productivity. We can have this、uh, really great assistant called AI assistant, right, in our work, in our life,、um, and in all the, you know, everything. Now we're Uh, we doing that can be actually much easier, and hopefully, you know, like、uh, really bring you know the, you know, the time for human being to actually also do you know many more things than what we can actually you know achieve today. So I think there is definitely a, a huge benefit, right? You know, about this technology, about this new innovation. Yeah, you know, it's part of change.、Um, we're all kind of afraid of it at the beginning. But if we think about the advent of the internet, for example, a lot of people were so afraid of what that meant, and now we can't live without it. So, change will be happening,、um, and we'll get used to it. I hope. <laughs> Tell me, Duan, how do you think the artificial intelligence is going to affect the creative process in the film,、uh, TV, and media industry? Yes. So. I will call basically probably you know the last ten years、uh, is about you know the disruption、uh, in the Hollywood you know especially in the content you know like content distribution the streaming、mm -hmm. side right with Netflix you know like really disrupt you know like this whole、uh, you know distribution channels right you know for many studios、mm -hmm. um, and we have seen AI also play a significant role. To drive, you know, better content distribution, like content planning, content marketing, content curation, right? Like editorials, you know, like many aspects, you know, that we already started using AI to help, you know, drive this、uh, the content life cycle, right? This creation process. But now, you know, with generative AI, with you know large language models, you know, and then、uh, with you know the text to you know video, text to image. And now you can actually create, you know,、um, uh, you know, the, the, like the things that actually, you know, like、uh, that can be very expensive to produce before. And now, you know, the cost is much lower,、um, and then、uh, the the productivity is much higher, right? So you have this fantastic AI tools, you know. Now、um, the people can actually, you know, really use, you know, all of those, you know, fantastic AI technology. To、uh, continue driving, you know, much more efficient, you know, content creation process, right, production process. So I think, you know, like we're still at the beginning,、uh, at this stage, right, with generative AI. But you know, I can imagine, you know, the trend will continue in the coming months and years to really see some major、uh, transformation in this, in this, you know, in this area. Do you think that there are any? Challenges or ethical considerations that need to be associated with artificial intelligence and how we gather data、uh, for the media industry. That's for sure. That's、uh, you know what we call responsible AI, right? So、um, 
although AI has you know many、uh, benefits, you know the technology innovation, and then people really you know start embracing you know this new tools and system. But then we also need to really be、uh, mindful about few things, right? First,、uh, about you know this whole data and IP, you know the data privacy compliance,、um, the IP, you know. So we need to really be aware of you know like、uh, we need to have、uh, a governing environment with our data, with our IP,、uh, so that we can really you know like you know. Make sure that we have the basic, you know, legal standards, right? The compliance, you know, legal standards. And on top of this, also, you know,、uh, we need to have, you know, transparency, right, about AI. So again, we talk about, you know, respond, you know, the the AI responsibility. You know, like the the AI cannot be just a black box.、Um, we need to understand a bit more about, you know, what data get into, you know, the AI tools, the output. Um, and what you know the tool is doing, right? So I think you know more transparency about AI is critical. Another aspect about this is about the we call the fairness,、um, you know, about AI. So、um, we know like、uh, data can be biased,、uh, you know, the algorithm can be biased. So we need to really continue focusing on to drive you know unbiased AI output, driving the fairness、um, as a society, right? As we use AI. Uh, we want to make sure, you know, like,、um, you know, everybody has a fair chance, you know, opportunity,、um, and then being, you know, like, basic in those AI system, right? Instead of, you know, having,、uh, we call the the bias data, you know, bias results. So that's a huge component we need to consider. Yeah, and hopefully we'll be able to advance at the same rate as the technology is, so that we can put those parameters in place before it gets too far ahead, right?、Um, What do you think is the most exciting trends that we will be able to see for the potential of AI in our industry, in the media, film, and TV industry? We just talked about this, you know, like a, a couple of weeks ago, and mentioned, you know, like in one of the the Hollywood、uh, like AI conversations, you know,、mm-hmm. um, there are a lot of exciting things, you know, that we have been doing the AI front end.、Um, so first, you know, around personalization, as I mentioned, right? So Now with AI capability, that you can create more interactive, like conversational AI, you know, type of interfaces with your consumers.、Um, another big area is around, you know, content. As I mentioned,、um, it's more about, you know, the coming years is probably more about the content creation.、Um, so in terms of, you know, like how you、uh, come up, you know, your、uh, story, right? Now you have, you know, like AI as a tool that you can actually. Really, you know,、uh, put your、um, development, you know, much,、uh, much basic interactive space, right, with your with your AI system.、Um, you can build a storyboard、uh, much easier, and then go into the content production process.、Um, a lot of the production, you know, like has been、uh, more labor intensive, right? Right now,、mm-hmm. you can. Really reduce the cost, right? Be more efficient using AI technology、uh, to do a lot of, you know, like editing of the content, right? Putting more, you know, visual effects, much easier,、um, and even, you know, the, you know, the whole video, right? The process with, you know, maybe their AI or human actors or coming together, you know. So there's a lot of, you know,、uh, imaginations, right? You know, like many new formats of the content you can also produce. Um, so there's very exciting things, you know, that could happen in the、mm-hmm. content space. Yeah, it's so important, right? Because AI needs human input in order to move forward. So, do you think that the collaboration between AI experts, our experts in the media, is important in order to create innovation? I think that it must be a collaboration between the AI experts and you know the content creators. Um, as we imagine the future, so you know, like the the AI itself, you know, like AI is built by human beings.、Mm-hmm. So for AI to really be effective, those tools or you know, like a system, you know, the system, you know, it has to basically really get you know、uh, the human beings feedback, right?、Mm-hmm. You know, the content creators they know for years they know like you know how to produce those contents right in the best way. So their feedback,、um, and then you know their comments, right? Where they how they evaluate, you know, if AI is working or not. 
all of that is critical to actually, you know, really get those learnings and feedbacks to feedback, you know, into the the AI system to improve, you know, the AI, right? You know, so AI can be actually even more, you know, effective. So I think, you know, it must be, you know, we call this like uh, the cycle between um, the AI, you know, the AI experts and the content creators to create that type of reinforcement learning cycles and ways of human beings, you know, feedback that can continue to improve, you know, the AI tools and system uh, to be more, you know, effective. Are there any new projects that you're involved in right now that drive that innovation? Anything exciting that you can tell us? So, um, you know, I've been kind of talking with uh, a lot of, I call it startup, you know, like more people now getting into the space, like entrepreneurs uh, and thinking about, you know, how they want to use AI to, you know, reimagine, you know, certain uh, areas, you know, certain mm-hmm. applications. I'm particularly interested, you know, like in the education space um i mean not only i have a 11 years old you know she's the school right now and i think the school is going to you know start talking about you know ai or chat gpt um so i think the education is, is you know like apart from media entertainment right you know which is really in my heart but uh, another big areas i've been really uh you know like working with some of those you know uh earlier like ai uh, technology, you know, entrepreneurs to think about how we can integrate, you know, AI in the ad technology space um, to build better technology for the future, you know, generation for their learning purpose, uh, which is kind of a little bit scary, you know, when they actually grow up, you know, and then so uh, there needs to be more consideration um, and, you know, even probably more regulations to some, to some, you know, to some degree in the school to help those kids, you know, master the technology, but meanwhile, you know, can still, you know, learn um, and grow, right? You know, as they are going to face a very different society when they grow up. Right, because they are already living in a different era where their phones are everything to them. So they have had so many changes happen in the way that they communicate. So that's going to be very interesting. Um, You have been in so many parts of the business and so many of the major players. What what advice would you give to someone that wants to get involved in media technology, especially if they want to get involved in things that have to do with data and artificial intelligence? I think, you know, um, this is uh, both I call, you know, like, you know, I use a word, you know, like fear, overwhelmed, you know, but also exciting time. Uh, to be, you know, uh, particularly in the media entertainment industry, right? With this like massive changes, you know, like coming from technology perspective, mm-hmm. you know, I think the one thing I would say because of the, the cost of production, you know, could be much lower in the coming, you know, months and years. So the entry barrier for a lot of the, the, the creative, you know, uh, like, you know, the, the creators could be, mm-hmm. you know, lower, um, that, probably than before, right? So now you can actually probably produce, you know, like a AI, um, you know, like largely say AI assistant, right? You know, the uh, the video creation, um, and then you can come up, you know, some ideas much faster, you know, and then uh, you can produce, you know, like a bigger probably, you know, videos, long videos, right? You know, mm-hmm. significantly, you know, in a lower, lower cost because of the engine barrier is lower. So I, I think this is exciting time to actually be in Hollywood, being the creative side. Mm -hmm. If you actually really have great ideas, now you have more AI tools, you know, and then the only cost is probably more the computation cost, right? You know, like you you need to run the data, you need to run the tool, but then you have, you know, much lower production cost of the the, the content. So I think, you know, there could be more um, creators, you know, like coming from, uh, even maybe smaller studios were, were individually, you know, like coming up, you know, some very, uh, you know, like fascinating content in the coming months and years. So I would, I would really encourage, you know, people actually, you know, like take this opportunity to join the space to actually, you know, continue, um, reinvent Hollywood and be in the next, you know, like, uh, chapter, right? You know, to, uh, to leverage AI to drive, you know, more innovations. 
Do you think there's any kind of experience that they should try to acquire or learn any particular skills as they move forward? I think the you know this stage because everything is changing very fast. So you know you definitely you know like probably you know need to uh, you know I call this like um you know like probably like say think about you know. Uh, the type of skills you need to you need to really you know like re basically rebuild out right because certain skills you know I would say、uh, is probably going to be more out of date in the coming years right so you want to actually really learn more you know like technology skills for example right you want to be able to really communicate with you know machine in a better way like proper engineering right so you know minimum you know you need to You know, if you need to leverage those AI tools, you need to be a, a great prompt engineer yourself, right? You know how you basically come up, you know, the best AI output.、Mm-hmm. Um, but you also want to learn, you know, there are so many different tools, right? And different tools using different models. You may want to have basic understanding about, you know, like those type of models. It doesn't need to be like mathematically or statistically, you know, so sophisticated. But you need to have some basic understanding. And then you have to kind of learn, you know, what tools, you know, or probably more,、uh, you know, like more,、um, say, you know, like strengths in certain areas, right? You know, maybe they are better to create an image, or better to create, you know, like videos, or、uh, the tools, you know, can generally speaking, you know, like,、uh, you know, better basically build, you know, applications. So there's so many things, right?、Um, I would highly encourage people, you know, spend more time, even day to day. You know, like especially time to learn about those new tools, new technology,、um, and you know, like really start probably even from prompt engineering, right? How you can actually you know better communicate with AI. So those are things like critical, I think, you know, for the, you know, for everybody who would like to be in the space. Yeah, lots to learn, lots of information coming our way. Thank you, Duan, so much for that.、Um, it's been such an honor to have you with us and learning so much. Um, is there anything that you would like to leave the audience with? Any takeaway about the future of AI? Something that we haven't discussed that you think it's important that we know?、Um, I just want to say, you know, we're living in a very exciting, but also uncertain time.、Um, be extremely, you know, like open-minded. You know, like be resilient、um, and really embrace the changes and. Take this as an opportunity to think about your, you know, like your career for the next probably five or ten years, where you want to be. I think this is a great opportunity for people who, you know, would like to take this right as you know, like even sometimes I even I think about myself, right? You know, I need to really learn this new thing, right? And then I need to, you know, get this into a different chapter. So really think about this as your biggest opportunity, probably in your in your life, in your career, and then embrace this new technology. And I think you will find, you know, your success in the next chapter, and you probably haven't imagined before. But I'm sure, you know, like everybody will find it. And、uh, you know, this is a community where support each other. And then this, any, you know. Uh, questions, anything you know, like happy to also you know share my experience or answer any questions you know, like、um, you know people may have. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Don.、Um, we will make sure that the people that are listening or that are watching us are able to send us their questions or inquiries for you.、Uh, we'll make them available so that you can answer them if there's anything that Don can help you with. We heard her; she's、um, willing to take the time to answer those questions for you. Duan, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. It was very insightful. We definitely learned a lot.、Uh, thank you so much. We look forward to having you again with the new projects that are coming down your pipeline. So we're looking forward to to hearing more about that. Definitely. And thanks so much for having me. It's a great pleasure talking to everyone, and、uh, we'll see you next time. For sure. Thank you so much, Duan. And remember, everyone out there, to like, subscribe. Send us your comments. Thank you for being part of our community, of the community of the Hollywood makers. Talk to you soon. Till next time. Take care.